Chapter 13, A Friend in Need. That night in her bedroom, Miss Fieldmouse told Felina about the wonderful match she had arranged for her. Mr. Mole is the richest animal for miles around, educated, well-dressed, highly thought of. Never mind that he can't see. <laughs> the mouse is going, but that's all the better. Finley can hardly believe her ears. How can I ever marry Mr. Mole? I don't even love him, she declared. Love, declared Miss Field Mouse. Love is what we read about in books, my dear. Marrying for love is foolish. Love won't pay the bill. Fumalina stared in amazement at the mouse. Miss Field Mouse you know, stared right back. To her, life was very similar. Warmth in the winter, there food in the cupboard, and plenty put aside for a rainy day. What did this silly little girl want, want with love? After that, Fumalina was far too miserable. Well, she tossed and turned in her bed until she heard Miss Filmouse snoring. She then picked up her tiny knee pillow and blanket and headed silently down to the mole's eternal treachery till she reached Giacomo's still form. Tenderly, she placed the blanket under the pillow under the swallow's head Ooh. and tucked the blanket around him. She lay down by his side. Please be warm, dear friend. Please live. Poor little swallow. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Felina fought back her tears. I know now. There's no place in this big world for little people. We cannot do impossible things. Fumalina pressed her face into the foot of her breast and felt so sad and confused. Perhaps I should marry the mole, she sighed. This for a moment. Yes, I will marry the mole. Mole, he can take care of me. Suddenly, Fetter sputtered, and the swallow's faint heart bet faster. Ugh, oh, you are joking, moaned Giacomo. Suddenly, it bolted up in surprise. Marry the prince, he continued weakly. Suddenly, it threw herself across Giacomo's chest and squeezed him into a tight, happy hug. Oh, you're awake, oh, Giacomo. But the... Hug hurt the swallow sir lean. Oh, 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 he cried. Oh, 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 gosh, I am before my wing. Oh, my goodness, exclaimed Fumalina. Hold still. She carefully pulled the thorn from Giacomo's wing and gently kissed the loon. Giacomo laughed. <laughs> now it will get better. But when he tried to jump to his feet, the bird staggered backwards. No, be careful! Don't get up! Cashing Fumalina. I'll find the bill of the fairies and the prince, Giacomo argued. Oh, you silly bird, said Fumalina. Get on my back! I'll take you to the green forest, he offered. For Pete's sake, Giacomo, be realistic, Fumalina said sadly. Cornelius is gone! I'll find him, Giacomo assured her. He didn't sing his familiar song. You're sure to do impossible things if you follow your heart. Fumalina put her hands over her ears so she wouldn't hear silly, encouraging words. But Fumalina's friend was determined to help her. Come on, my one of me. Follow your heart, chuckled Giacomo. And with great difficulty, he flapped into his way towards a hole. Pulling the ceiling and flew out into the snowy night.